Greetings, this is Greg. This is part one of a series on the Fiat 124. I don't feel that the automotive press gives the Fiat 124 a fair shake. I think the journalists are applying a double standard in regards to vehicle platform sharing and are doing it in such a way that it denies Fiat the credit that it's due, and in this video I'll try and set the record straight. It seems that every review I see about the 124 basically claims that the car is simply a Miata with a few changes. Many even go so far as to call the car a Fiat. In fact, I can't think of a single road test or US-based YouTube review about this car that doesn't start off talking about its Mazda connection. The 124 and MX-5 or Miata share far fewer components than many other shared platform cars that are never presented this way in the press. I think this is a bit unfair. Yes, the two cars share a platform, but not much else. And platform sharing is done all the time in the automotive industry. Yet I can't remember any other case where journalists constantly refer to one car as if it's just a version of another, simply because of a shared platform. Before we go any farther, let me just list a few things that are different on the 124 as compared to the MX-5. Starting off, we have every single body panel, every one. The windshield is different, the engine, the transmission, unless you get the automatic, in which case neither car has a Mazda unit anyway, the differential, key suspension components, seats, steering wheel, pretty much all the stuff you can actually touch in the interior, door panels, dash, and so forth, at least the covering materials. By any normal standards, that's more than enough to make these two different cars. But for comparison, let's look back at a short history of platform sharing. In the 1960s, General Motors muscle cars used platform sharing. Does anybody consider the Chevelle SS, Pontiac GTO, Olds 442, and Buick GS to be the same car? They all share the same platform, but have different engines, body panels, and other changes. Yet, they have more in common with each other than the 124 does with the MX-5. It would be very difficult to find a case where a journalist said that the GTO was just a slightly altered Chevrolet Chevelle, and yet you certainly won't find any case where nearly every article starts off with that premise as it does with Fiat. In the case of the Dodge and Plymouth muscle cars, not only uh, did they share platforms, they shared engines and in some cases body panels, yet I found no journalist in vintage articles claiming that the Roadrunner, GTX, Charger, and Super B are all the same cars, even though mechanically they actually are. Platform sharing continues to this day. It's so common it is the rule, not the exception. Yet we just don't see it mentioned for other cars anywhere near as often as it is with the 124. For example, the current Dodge Challenger and its four-door sibling, the Charger, not only share the same basic chassis, they are in mechanical terms almost the same car. The same is true with Volkswagen and Audis. Under the sheet metal, they're often the same, yet I don't see journalists implying that the Golf and Audi TT are the same car. The Miata and 124 have far less in common, far less, than any of the examples I just listed. Yet the 124 is the only car that's treated this way by the press. The only other case where I can think of where journalists tend to do this is with the Toyota Subaru twins, but that's different, I think, because those essentially are the same car. They only differ in bushing material and uh, CAN bus stuff for the dashboard and emblems. Uh, they're just absolutely trivial stuff. So I don't think that's comparable. So why do certain people treat the Fiat as if it's just a dressed-up Miata? I think there are two categories of people that do this, and they do it with two different reasons. First, we have the journalists. Calling the car a Fiat is essentially the easy way to write about the car. All you have to do is say it's a Miata with a different engine, talk about the styling for a while, which, side note, that seems kind of pointless to me. They always do it, though. Uh, I can just look at the car. I don't need a journalist to describe it to me. Uh, then they throw in some specs right out of the official documentation. They will somehow manage to mention turbo lag, which is really insignificant on this car, and bam, you have an article. I think this style of article does a disservice to the reader and to the car. Second, there are people who have experience selling Mazda Miata MX-5 parts, and they want to promote the idea that the two cars are the same, 
so they can claim expertise and experience on the Fiat, which they very often don't have. The Fiat just isn't a Mazda. It does share some components, the basic platform and some uh, main suspension components, but far less, far less sharing is going on with these two cars than other cars using shared platforms. I think it's time for the journalists to give it the respect it deserves. Thanks for watching, and uh, please like and subscribe, and have a good day.